What's up guys? I'm trying to make a video for you to show you how to add the drums and cakewalk um, and then record them. So go over here. This little thing here is a virtual instrument thing. And click on drums and uh, SI drum kit and uh, click OK. And it'll pop up over here. Go over here and expand it. And then um, click on that. Pick what you want to pick, and then it'll start. Minimize this out, don't close it. And then uh, you go in here and insert audio track. Okay. Now, we're gonna go in here to the input, and uh, SI drum kit primary out. So you see that now, it's over here. It also changes how it comes out sound wise. So what you can do is mute this one. That's the primary, but it's like, I don't know. This is just, this is terrible how this whole system works. This thing sits here and goes and goes and goes, and you can record all day long and, and it's there, but you can't record it, okay? So basically, this thing's just sitting there all by itself running independently. Now we're picking it up on here on the input. And then uh, we're sending it out on here. So basically, let's say right here you will have like, uh, I'll go here and have like my Scarlet going into my amp. And I could record like a guitar track. I'm not going to do that right now, but I'll just show you. So we need the uh, arm this for record. See that? Okay. Let's say we arm this for record. Uh, it's not letting me do anything because there's nothing hooked up to it. Anyway, just go in here, record, and the annoying ass metronome is on too. So, we'll just let it record for a second, and then we'll go ahead and stop it, okay? And then now, I'm going to go and see if I can pull this thing up again, close it out, okay? So now... We got, this is closed out, okay? And our track is down here. We go back through, there it is. And now you can do whatever you want. You can record, you know, you could do this at the same time. You could record this track um, while you're playing guitar into here or whatever, or bass or whatever. But I think it's easier just to record it first because it's such a pain in the butt. And all these softwares are stupid like this. They have a virtual uh, MIDI device. Like over here you got a uh, bass. You click that. Let's see what we get here. Um, come on, open up. And then, uh, so, you go here. And then this one's weird because, let's see. You have to like set it to loop. If you don't set it to loop, it won't keep playing. And so I guess they want you to sit down with a MIDI keyboard and just play bass. Well, for me, I'm just gonna grab my bass and record it. So I got it on loop. And um, this would be the same thing. And you go in here. Okay, it's playing right now. We'll click down here. We'll add an audio track, okay? And what I need to do is I need to go in here and expand this. This silly thing isn't allowing me. Oh. I hate this thing. Is it? It's like oh, there we go. Okay. Like, why do I have to do that every single time? Why is it compressed? I don't want it compressed. So here is our bass guitar, I believe, right there. This could be audio track. So we go in here and we add our bass. And I don't know why it just went quiet. All right, so I see I've got it figured out. We can go in here and mute this one. Now, we just hit record. Why would it not do it? This thing's retarded. 
Um, I think also, too, my laptop might also be uh, glitching. All right. So we got it recording and playing synthetic bass. I can't, you know, guarantee the tempos match up. <laughs> it didn't sound like it, but... So, I mean, I'm just kind of giving you an idea of how to do this. So every time that you add a, um, a MIDI a virtual device on here, you have to basically add a new audio track and then add it on the input and then the output goes to the master which is on here that's what we're recording right now so anyways um, I mean this is a good free program I mean like it's probably the best I've got some of these other ones and they're all this bad they really are and once you think you have one figured out, you go use a different one, and it doesn't work quite the same. Uh, one cool thing is the SI drum kit does work in a bunch of these other um, uh, DAWs. So, anyway, I hope this uh, long video will help somebody who is trying to figure out, hey, how come I can't record the, uh, the SI drum kit? And uh, so I just showed you how you add the, the MIDI track, and then an audio track and import the MIDI into the audio track. It sounds crazy, but that's how it works.